So there's been a lot of discussion in the forums and on different blogs about waterproof breathable fabrics such as Event and Gore-Tex and it seems like Event's got its own kind of try build around it that says that Event definitely breathes a lot better than Gore-Tex. And as many of you may know, I was recently at the Gore-Tex facilities in Maryland and one of the experts there did a very interesting experiment for us uh, to show um, water uh, transferability between the two fabrics. So let me explain what you're going to see here. Basically we've got two glasses of water and they each have a layer of fabric on top of them. The blue one will be the Gore-Tex fabric and then the black one will be the Event fabric. And he's going to put a layer of plexiglass over top of that. Now the one that transfers water vapor better or faster theoretically should fog up the plexiglass faster than something that doesn't transfer the water vapor as well. But I think what you'll find is pretty interesting. They actually both showed condensation right away uh, at exactly the same time. But uh, I'll let you guys be the judge of that. What we'll do is just stick both of the materials on top. And um, then what I've got is just a plexiglass plate that's going to allow you to be able to see condensation. If the light's good, you ought to be able to see how rapidly these things work. I can do it over and over again if you guys miss. So, but did you see that? I mean, yeah. just take a look at how and talk about whether it's slow or whether it's very responsive, okay? And is there a twice as difference, or did you notice any real difference of how fast that which moisture is, transfers through the material? Gore-Tex is the blue on the left, and the event product is the one on the right. It's just the fact that you had to ask that question. The black one's a squash slower. Yeah. That again. <laughs> so, they're both moving moisture through the material rapidly, right? That's the point. And so this, this claim of this huge 2x difference, what I pointed out on that chart before, is in low humidity conditions, but if there's a driving force, like you're inside the garment and your body's warm and your relative humidity is up over 70% on it, and the outside material, because it's colder out, is the shell material, can't hold as much moisture in the, in the air as warm air can, so all of a sudden there's a driving force to move moisture through the material, and the rate at which it happens is very, very rapid. 